Amen, Jesus. Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen, Lord God, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, 
coming this morning yes that is what happens when you are being directed by God I want to thank God for the privilege he has given me to be directed by him because I'm sure a lot of people in the world too want to be led by God want to be uh, told things by God to tell to the world so I thank God for the for this privilege, I'm not taking it for granted. Uh, may God's name be praised. Uh, before we go to lunch, uh, we go too far. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for the protection through the night. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for guiding us through the dangers of the day, through the dangers of the night. Thank you, Lord, we are here again because you have made it possible. And I'm standing here only because you made a way. Thank you, Jesus, for making a way. Thank you, Lord, for this consecutive prayer meetings we have had for the past three weeks. Thank you, Lord, for the wonders which you have shown in the prayers. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for a time like this again that you are you are going to hear and answer us. Thank you because you are God that answers prayers. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' name. Father, as we are here this morning, Father, come and take control of this morning's prayer meeting. Come and have your way. At the end, we want all glory to return to you. Come and teach us how to pray. All right? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> I was thinking so many things. <laughs> ah, I was thinking and praying in my mind at the same time. My hair is itching. Um, I have to put water today. I have to loosen it, mask it, wash it. No, no, wash. Put water. It's not dirty, but it's dry. That's why it's itching me. We thank God for bringing us again. Okay. This prayer meeting, it has pre-message. Pre <laughs> so what happened was that, uh, you know that yesterday night, we were supposed to come for a new prayer meeting. I remember that two days ago, I was like, ah, I remember the topic, but it crossed my mind again. I can't remember it again. So yesterday night, I was, I've not gotten the topic yet, so I was not like, and what happened was that I was actually doing the project, so <laughs> the time I was supposed to use and come and do prayer, the thing is, uh, from morning to night, I wasn't, 
I wasn't studying. I wasn't studying. I wasn't doing anything. It was very cold. There was no light for a lot of time. And um, so I, I wasn't doing anything like that. So, um, and I said that night, I was going to do a project too. That's how I finished the project too. That's how I scattered it by myself. <laughs> Not that I wanted to scatter it. It didn't work. That's how I deleted it too. I was, I was gone. I felt very, very bad yesterday. I deleted it and I had to start again. That's how the whole system started its own issue. So, but it was, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> And I just said, I was always getting to 4 a.m. And I was now thinking, my mind, okay, maybe you should turn it to money prayers. I think God saw my heart that this guy wants to trick me. <laughs> and I went to sleep. Oh. And in my dream, oh, that God gave revelation that compulsorily this one, he must come for this prayer. And when I woke up, God gave me the um, prayer point. The topic, you understand, you know, and that is the exact topic that God has given me before. You see how God works. So I thank God. Um, I'm going to start this prayer meeting by reading this Bible passage. That is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1 to 7. Um, I want to talk about the song we are we played before starting. That was Baba so John no do the plan that the enemies have. Let them fall into it by themselves. We want to be protected from all evils in the name of Jesus. And that is what God is going to do. May God's name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go. Ezekiel 33, 1 to 7. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children. Of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coats, coast, scales me, and set him for thy watchman, if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his, cap in his iniquity. But his blood will I require as a watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman upon the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. So this was the passage that God used for me to send me out of my bed. <laughs> because what happened was that I was, I, I was playing prayer meeting, prayer overnight, you understand. So when I woke up, I was feeling not so... Um, how do I call it? Like when you wake up and you're feeling like, ah, I've not slept. Like those times where you want to change position. Look at it. I slept around 4, 5 and I'm awake by 7. Which means I was not even well slept already. You understand? But God sent me out of my bed. Hey, daughter, get out of the bed and go and pray. You understand? Like... If I if I'm giving you money to people or something that people have to watch out for, then you have to do it. You just have to do it. Then this the passage where this Bible passage is coming from. Yes, I was talking about that um that song. That is the day that the enemy starts for evil for us. Father turned it to a day of celebration. And she now used Ammon and Mordecai as example. You remember that Ammon, there was even a place in the Bible that they said that. They said, and on that day that Ammon had taught it to kill them, 
That was the day that I saw the celebration for them. So that's our prayer point. So the song, the song is actually a prayer. The day that the enemies thought for evil, Father, turn it around for good. In the camp of the enemies, let it be evil. But in our own camp, let it be good. So let's go to the Bible passage. It's in um, Joel chapter 2, 15 to 17. Blow the trumpets in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O God, O Lord. What a round topic. Spare your people, O Lord. I cannot see it. All. Spare thy people, O Lord. I mean, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the Eden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is thy God? Hmm. Hey, it is where. The Lord will answer us in Jesus' name. So our prayer point is spare thy people, O God. So by God's grace, God will be giving us Bible passages to pray with for seven days. And we know that the God that is alive, that doesn't that is not a figurehead like all the small gods. We hear and answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. The God that has ears to hear, we hear and answer us. And any sin that will not allow him to he answer us, the blood of Jesus wash it away in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's go to the another passage. This one is, is relating to what I saw in my dream. It wasn't so... Wait, let me read this first. When I read then I'll talk about it. Proverbs and uh, Psalm 7 verse 15. It says, He made a pit and digged it, and is falling into the ditch which he made in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that dream, I said I was going to talk about it. I saw a man, a very rich man. He was asking his servants. Maybe servant, maybe people working for him to be digging pits. And it was very large. I was looking at them. It was like a revelation, just like how God has to force me to come for prayers now. That is actually a revelation. Like something was happening somewhere, and then God made me to go and see them. I was in the dream, I wasn't looking at it like they were planning evil. No, I wasn't looking at it like that. But it was when I woke up that I started thinking, ah. No, this thing should not be a joke. These people are planning evil. Let's scatter their plans. As they have dug it, let them enter into it by themselves. It was very wide. It wasn't like um uh it wasn't like where the very people no. But it was very wide, which means they wanted to accommodate as many people as possible. But we are we are here praying, spare your people, oh God. It will not it will be minus us and our family members in Jesus' name. Amen. And all our loved ones. Because there are some people that have kind of become a part of us. That even must not happen to them too. We understand. They are not yet family, but they are our loved ones. There's somebody that we don't want any of us to happen to them. So with our loved ones, ourselves, our family. We are protected in Jesus' name. So that's why we are crying out in these seven days. Spare your people, oh God. I didn't even know that God was going to give me this prayer point. Because uh, if you remember, on the 11th of uh, this month, <laughs> on the 1st of this month, <laughs> I said 11 because it's the 11th month. On the 1st of this month, we... Ah, my hair is itching. Do you know what I'm looking at? My mom said I'm looking lean. So I'm looking at myself like, am I, am I lean lean? Like, am I really lean? Really, really, really lean? Let's, let's check. I did all right. I think it's my hair. My hair is rough. But it's better than how it used to be. Before, my hair would be rough. I will not be able to do it. I will leave it like that because of what I was passing through. I'm really grateful for bringing me out of all those stress and 
things I went through. May God's name be praised. Amen. Proverbs 26 verse 27. It says, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. I thank God. Let's go to the prayer. Without further ado. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the meaning of that thing. I'll still go and check. But without moving about the bush for too long. So let's go. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to thank God. We're going to appreciate Him for not leaving us in darkness. Do you know some people are actually in darkness? It's after the thing that's happened. And I'm like, oh my God, and I didn't see it. Oh, you know, for God to have re uh, revealed it to us beforehand, for God to have not kept us in darkness, there are some some situations that God knows that if the person knows about this thing, they will pray against it and I will, I will remove my... Uh, the thing will not be able to happen. But God will not reveal. You understand? For God has not kept us in darkness. For God to have... This is, this is what I'm saying about getting close to God. When you try to push yourself close to God, you just notice that God will be coming close to you too. You understand? Because we have started prayers for three weeks now, it has become a part of us to continually come to pray. You understand? So that's why God is revealing things to us. Because you see that, okay, these people, they have started praying. Okay, they can still pray about this thing to cancel it, to, for the evil to return back to the evil plan. And so for the evil owners of evil to use their head and carry their, their loads. You understand? So we thank God. So that's a, an encouragement to all of us too. That let us find one way or one part of our lives to give to God. So that He can always speak to us. He can always get close to us. Who else, who else should should we should we want other than God? He's the one is the one that knows everything. He's the one that owns everything. So why not? Why can't we? I can't we devote ourselves and our time for him to use us. You get you, you get what I'm saying? Like to get close to us. Or we to get close to him, whichever English it should be. So what I'm just going to say now is that let us thank him for this opportunity. It's, it's still not um it's still not something that is is um, it's our right, it's still a privilege, it's an opportunity. We want to thank God. We want God's name to be praised. Let us thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have. Thank you, Lord, for not leaving us in darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for always answering prayers. Oh, God, and answer us prayers unto this shall all men come. Thank you, Lord, we are here again as your people that, that know you as God that answers prayers. Thank you because you are going to answer us by fire. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the prayers we have had before. Thank you, Lord, for answering the prayers. Thank you for this one also because we have answered the prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So I want to go to the next prayer point. That is, you know, I said this in my words the other time. I said that there are some sins. It's the Bible that said it now. He said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So I want to pray. Oh Lord, every sin that will not allow you to hear me and answer me, please forgive me. Use the blood of Jesus to wash my sins in me. Cleanse my heart. Have mercy on me. Don't let me go empty and let me just come and shout and shout father do it do it and yet god will still not do it ha no oh lord come and forgive me every sin like that i will not allow you to move in my favor i will not allow you to answer us that will make our prayer a few d a few d before you father use the blood of jesus to wash them away let us pray Ah, Baba, we go and shake. Tuma muki, gwa la bi bi aja la sonu aju e je je su pare. Je su fe je re pare o e je je su pare o lo ru to gwa adura. Ah, o lo ru pare. O lo ru ti gin si o lo ru ofu. O lo ru ti gin si o lo ru ogun ti si o lo ru obatara ti si o lo ru shongo. 
Olorun aye ra yi Olorun to wa laaye. Ah to ngbo jo wa dariji. Gbogbo ese ti o ni je ko gbo adura wa la ro e Jesus jo dariji. Oluwa dariji, Oluwa dariji. We thank you for protection in the nights. Thank you for protection in the days. Thank you Lord for bringing us again. Thank you Lord because you have not kept us in darkness. Father, you the blood of Jesus will wash every sin away. Take all the glory of this ministry. Everything we pray for the power of God to pray our right to teach us how to pray to fill us full of God to pray from the Spirit of God. Father, Lord, arise and help us this morning. Arise, O oh Lord, and do what only you can do. Father, Lord, send the evils back to the evil doers, O oh Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord. Father, lay your mark of ownership, your mark of protection upon us and our followers and our loved ones in Jesus' name. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I was, I was exercising my eyes <coughs> because. What we are going to do now is that the prayer is straightforward. We are praying from the Bible. The first, we are, we use the first one. Spare your people, oh Lord. He said, call evil children. Uh, a prophet, no man, alufa. Call alufa. Call old. Call man. Call woman. Call children. Call everybody. Tell them that. Praying between the altar and the porch and say, Spare your people, oh God. Mafia, when you are a fool and want to tell us, where is their God? Maybe we should read it again. I don't want to read it before because of time, because we have spent a lot of time already. But I think it's important to read it. That's really only that 17, you see. Where for should they see among the people? Where is their God? You understand? Do you know that some things that happen to Christians and people will be like, ah, ah. <laughs> and you call yourself a child of God, you understand? Uh -uh. Why did your God protect you now? You understand? So that people will not come and ask, where is our God? Father, Lord, please pray your people, oh God. That one also says, that 17 says, uh, let the priest, okay, the priest is Halufa. The ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, "Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach." Mafi ignirefun esin, you understand? Bifun ego, something like that. And the evening should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, "Where is thy God?" So we want to pray, O God, please spare us, spare us, O Lord, spare us, spare us, spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. Spare us from the evils that all this. Baba, all the evil they are planning. Father, spare us. Father, spare us. Father, spare us. Oh Lord, spare us. Father, spare us. Let us pray. Ni oru koje suluwa da wa ni nyore si oluwa. Spare thy people, oh God. Oh, Father, spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. Father, spare us. Spare us, oh Lord. Spare us from the dangers. Spare us from evil. Oh Lord, spare our lives. Jesus, spare us from the evils of the end of the year. Almighty Father, protect us. Father, please let us be protected by you. Father, spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. Jesus, please, spare our lives, O oh Lord. Let our lives be precious in your sight, O oh Lord. Father, spare us from the evils of the end of the year. Father, spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. Father, spare us from those that have dark pits. Father, spare our lives. Don't let us enter into their pits. Father, spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. O oh Lord, protect us. Father, Lord, protect us. O oh Lord, protect us. Spare us from the dangers of the end of the year. In our day, in our night, Father, please protect us. Oh Lord, spare our lives, O oh Lord. Father, spare us, O oh Lord. Don't give us over to reproach, O oh Lord. Don't let people say, where is our God? Father, spare us, O oh Lord. Spare us from evils. Spare us from death. Oh Lord, spare our lives. Let our lives be precious in your sight, O oh Lord. Father, spare us from evils. Father, spare us from evils. Our family, our, our loved ones, even our lives, O oh Lord. Father, spare us. Father, spare us from all evils. Spare us from all danger. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The next one we are praying is that uh, uh, the, he has dug a pit and he has fallen into it. I think we should read it. Let's read it again to, to make it stronger. Seven, Psalm 7, 15, verse 15. He made a pit and dig it and it's fallen into the ditch which is made. 
is the same as that Proverbs 26, 27 that says, He that dig a pitch and fall into it, then let's read it. Proverbs 26, 27. Whoso diggeth a pitch shall fall there, and he that ruleth a stone is will return upon him. We are returning evil arrows back to the center now. Father Lord, every evil pit that the enemies have dug, Father, let them fall into it by themselves. Don't let us walk in that area. Don't let us fall into their trap. Father, protect us from all evils of these evil people planning evils. Oh Lord, oh Lord, anybody that has dug any evil pit for this end of the year, Father Lord, don't let us enter into it. Let them enter it, into it by themselves. You said it in your word. You said it, he made a pit and digged it. Oh, by well, OG. Oh, and it's falling into the ditch which he made. Father, let all our enemies, let them fall into their evil ditch by themselves. Father, Lord, it is minus us and our family members. We protect ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Father, lay your mark of protection upon us and our family members. Father, Lord, protect us from all evils. Protect us from all dangers. Father, protect us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we say no to evil of the end of the year. Father, protect us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Nioruko, Jesus, O Lord, protect us. Oh, Jesus, pray, protect us from the evils of the end of the year. Oh, Lord, those that have done any evil peace, Father, let them enter to eat by themselves. In the name of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, I place the mark of protection of the Lord upon my life, O oh Lord. I place the mark of protection upon my family, O oh Lord. I place the mark of protection upon all my loved ones, O oh Lord. Anyone that evil will happen to, and I will cry, and I will say, God, why? Ah, oh Lord, I place the mark of protection upon them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we will not enter into the trap of the enemies. We will not enter into the trap of darkness. We will not enter into the trap of the evil ones. Father, Lord, all the peace that they have done, Father, let them enter into it by themselves and their family members. In the name of Jesus, you said that they will hit their... their they will heat their children, they will drink their blood of their children like sweet wine. Father Lord, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Anybody that is saying you want to make us to cry, cry of bitterness this end of the year, Father Lord, say the cry to their family. Father Lord, we are protected by the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, don't let it who come into our abode. Father, surround us with the protective power of God. So surround us with the fire of the Ghost. Father, make your hedge of protection around us and our family members. Father, Lord, protect us. Arise, O Lord, and scatter all your enemies. Arise, O Lord, and scatter all our enemies. Protect us, O Lord. As we are going into today, Father, Lord, a lot of people will be going now, will be moving with friends. Father, we will not send time to evil in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We protect ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our prayers. I return all the glory back to you, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Yes. That's all. Immediately I started praying the prayer. God says, that's all. So, <laughs> I mean the last one. This last prayer. So that's all. So let's round up. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray. <laughs> we thank you, Lord. You are the one that has made it possible. Father, as we are going into today, Father, arise and go before us. Father, Lord, Cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Everything we are going to do today, we sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Maybe in the night or maybe in the morning again, we will come for this prayer meeting because it's seven days. Father, thank you, Lord, because we are going to help us again. Return all glory back to you. Father, Lord, we are now praying for Ukraine, oh Lord. Father, stop all this attack in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you have said that. The victory belongs to the Lord, and you have given us the victory. Father, Lord, will stop all these evil attacks. Father, stop all these evil attacks. Father, Lord, go and... Lord, share with me. I don't share with you. Father, go and... Lord, share with me. Lord, go and make them fearful. Father, go and send a thing of fear to them that they would never attack again. You said in the time of the Israelites, you said, well, after you give them victory, those people never, they don't anymore. Raise a hand of attack again. Father Lord, go and do this. It means you have not finished the work. Oh, that's why they can still attack. Oh. That's why they can still do one thing or the other. Oh, Father Lord, send destruction to their abode. Oh Lord. Destroy them until they say we are not attacking again. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, destroy them. Send fear among them. Father, send an angel of fear that, that will utterly destroy them to destroy. To utter destruction. 
I know you are waiting for me to pray this prayer, and I have prayed it now, oh Lord. Father, go there and destroy them until they don't attack anymore. And everything that they have spoiled in this place, Father, Lord, come and repair it. Is it the light, the electricity? Father, repair it. Oh Lord, repair it. Everything that they have scattered, they have done one way or the other, Father, repair it. And I'm also praying for the president, Father, Lord, because this is a man that, that sees his people as his people. Not some selfish government somewhere. Father, Lord, I pray that you, you empower him. Father, fill him up. You are the one that has put him in the position. I remember that time when he, he was contesting, I prayed for him. Father, Lord, you are the one that put him there. Father, fill him up. Spare his life, O oh Lord. Father, let him live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Let him live. Give this victory through him, O oh Lord. Father, let this victory be a total victory. Total victory that will, will rise this country to the to the, that will rocket this country to the higher, higher top that, that no one has even thought they can rise to in history. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your prayers. Praise be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, because we are ending this year in favor, in goodness, in blessing, in protection from the Almighty God. Praise be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a productive day. I think we're going to be praying this prayer in the morning so that we can pray ahead into the day. I actually love how I'm praying a, protect, a productive day prayer. So it's actually good. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day and a weekend. Bye.